conditions are fine. Who cares? It's all about luck now. Fish on! Woohoo! Welcome to Fishing with Fred. I've been struggling to catch that big sea trout. In the first episode, we were spin fishing and I lost a big trout. In the second episode, I was fly fishing, which is what I've been doing the most. But that was also a struggle. So now I've decided to get a lucky charm tattoo. Later in this episode, we are gonna go fishing. I'm gonna have my lucky charm on my shoulder and I'm sure that's what it takes to catch that big sea trout. Ow. Ouch. Ouch. fishing. I have my new tattoo on my back and hopefully that's what it takes to catch the big sea trout. That could be the turnaround in my luck because in fishing there's a lot of luck connected to it and that's probably also why there's a lot of superstition in fishing. I've caught so many nice fish in this bay here. And this is also where I I lost that big fish in the first epi episode. No, no, don't show that again. Uh, I just have to remember cast on the shallow because the fish might as well be super close to land. I have to get a bit out to actually get a back cast, but oh, and there's. Weed in the water, and there's a tangle on my line, and there's a tattoo on my back, and hopefully it is what it takes to bring me luck, 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 luck. In carp angling, a lot of carp anglers they hang up teddy bears in the rut pots to bring them luck. Uh, when you're a boat fisherman, you never bring a banana on your boat, because that's bad luck. Uh, there's people who collect these fog lights on the beach to bring them luck. Superstition and rituals doesn't seem like the logic thing, but actually as anglers, it is kind of logic that we do have a lot of this because we're dealing with mother nature and she's unpredictable. In order to keep going hour after hour without catching anything, we need to keep the faith. And sometimes the small rituals, it could be a cup of coffee, it could be finding that rock on the beach, it could be whatever makes you believe in it. It could be your lucky hat or your lucky socks, whatever keeps you going hour after hour in order to catch that big fish. A friend of mine wrote an article about the topic and uh, he interviewed an anthropologist and she said that she could imagine that anglers actually was very superstitious because we are trying to reach something that we cannot see most of the time and we're doing it in conditions where we are not in control of it. A lot of us also believe it's a curse to catch a fish in the first cast, then you're probably not gonna catch any more. What a start, like the first real cast. Fished almost perfect conditions for, yeah, well, most of a day. Got two small fish within the first, what, 10 minutes? Typical fishing. And a lot of us also knows the power of beginner's luck. I have a friend I gave a fly rod to and brought him fishing and on his first trip he caught a fine fish. Then he had a elbow injury and then he didn't fish for a year. Next time I brought him he caught a 76 centimeter male sea trout, 
fat and beautiful. Second fish in his fly fishing life. So whether you're a carp angler and has a totem on your rod pod or a predator angler saying prayers. In the name of the perch, the pike and the holy Xander, please let me catch. Or like me, a coastal sea trout angler and collecting fog lights to bring you luck or wearing a lucky hat or a lucky tattoo. Keep doing it, because at the end, that might be what it takes to get you that big fish. We are not in control of the elements. Mother Nature does what she does, and we can control that, but we can control what we do. And if we stay at it, we will catch a fish eventually. Oh, that was a fish. Ah, man. <laughs> Yeah! Fish on! Woohoo! Not a biggie! Oh my god, maybe that tattoo works! Oh my god, I'm such an amateur! The loop of my line is through my top eye now. Yeah! There you go, there you go. Okay, I'm on it again. So if there's one fish, there's more, because this is not, this is not the fish of my dreams. Oh my god, that tattoo works. That tattoo works. What do you know? Oh, and there it went, but that counts as a fish. Wow. I'm out of my dry spell. Maybe it's the tattoo that helped me. Maybe it's the new hat. Maybe it's because I, because I forgot my pink flexi stripper. I don't know. I believe it's the tattoo. See you in the next episode of Fishing with Fred. And we are gonna change up the game a bit and see if it changed the game. My face to the sea and my back to the land.